Now, today is the 100th birthday of Chevrolet. It was born in Detroit, of course, and over the past century, Chevy has sold over 208 million cars. Happy birthday, Chevy. Well, correspondent Debbie Turner-Bell has more on one of America's most recognizable brands of any kind. I want you to meet a great new star. The new 1953 Chevrolet. It's a brand name as American as apple pie. See the USA in your Chevrolet. America is asking you to call. From the Corvette to the Impala to the Suburban. It's clear Chevrolet remains a central thread in the American automobile tapestry. It's hard for when you talk about Chevy to not tie it back to Americana, tie it back to our heritage and who we are and where we came from. It was November 3, 1911, when the founder of General Motors, William C. Durant, and the man whose name would become synonymous with the car, Louis Chevrolet, formed an automotive brand to compete against Henry Ford and his mighty Model T. This 1913 Chevrolet, this Cinderella of the industry, could dare to challenge Ford. But challenge it did, and successfully. By 1927, Chevy briefly overtook Ford as the industry sales leader, much to the behest of Louis Chevrolet, who sold his stock to Durant only three years after the product's inception. The rest was history. Chevrolet and Ford would battle for the next hundred years and create some of the most iconic American automobiles ever made. And get the Chevy feeling. The 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air, 1963 Corvette Stingray, Camaro's wide stance, and 1968 Camaro. Gibb and Tammy Loudon fell in love with their 68 Camaro and soon thereafter with each other. Tammy and I went down to look at it and, and uh, I fell in love with it. It was, it, you know, it was a nine year old car, but it was fast. Now they have over 30 classic Chevys in their collection. 22 of those are Camaros. It's a sickness, but there's no, no like help for it. So, you know, <laughs> you just keep on buying more. But for all of Chevy's triumphs, there was a fair share of bad times as well. In the 1965 book, Unsafe at Any Speed, the 1960 through 1963 Corvair was highlighted because of its faulty rear suspension. The defect tarnished General Motors' image and made a name for its author, Ralph Nader. In the 1980s and 90s, plagued by the rising cost of oil, foreign competition, and various design and manufacturing blunders, Chevrolet lost market share that it's never gained back. Then the unthinkable. In 2009, General Motors filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, the fourth largest in U.S. history. The American taxpayer now had a $50 billion stake in the company. Going through tough times like we did, and they were tough, they only make you stronger. They only make you better. It's electricity that Chevy hopes will lead them through the next 100 years. The Chevrolet Volt, with its plug-in electric technology, is the most fuel-efficient vehicle sold in the U.S. Like but no matter what your speed or style, riding in a Chevrolet remains like an American original. Debbie Turner-Bell, CBS News, New York. Like a rock. I was something to see.